Every time. That's it. Every time. That's it. Sorry. Every time. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, um, today we've got, we're doing some work on the Z in Trunks. the background. But today we're going to talk trunk springs. I'm sure you guys have seen these advertisements if you have a 350Z. If you do. If you don't, they're actually not super relevant for you. Yeah. But this is actually pretty important. But these, I've, I've definitely been wanting to get these for a while. And because you don't even assist me, watch. Oh. As you can see, the trunk has not moved. Yeah. And actually, one of the problems here is, is there's no gap to kind of stick your, your fat meat paws in yeah. to, to get anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and assist you this so time we're with the wing. Shoulder the wing. There we there go. There we yeah. go. Yeah. There we go. So the factory 350Z trunk is a million pounds, but it also has these nice little spots right yeah. here on each side. So we got these from Open Top. Company How much were they? In France, uh, they were sixty nine dollars. Sixty nine bucks, seventy bucks, not bad. Sixty nine, very nice. Very nice. <laughs> they pop and do you turn it? Yeah, you just pop and turn. Slide, slide it in, yep. turn it. That's what she said. There we go, and that took all of two seconds. Literally. Yeah, but let's go ahead and we're gonna actually close this kind of. Oh, look at that gap! Now, now we've got a gap. Now you can actually get your meat paws in. I'm not gonna try to open it. Oh, <laughs> That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, we needed those really bad. Yeah, it was literally the kind of thing where if you're by yourself, it's like, how do you? Like, no, you, if you, have you to had if you didn't have power in the car, sometimes we'd oh, be yeah. pulling from the inside. Yeah, you no. can't pop the trunk. Not by yourself. That was but great. that's great, yeah. Beautiful. That's perfect. Fantastic. That is perfect. Yeah. So for 70 bucks, that's definitely worth it. No, totally worth Did it. Did you look finished. up the OEM ones? Did I what? Did you look up the OEM ones? Oh, uh, the OEM ones are like 50 or 60. And these are supposed to be stiffer springs. Yeah, they're, they're thicker springs. They do a side-by-side -side comparison on the site. You can see they're like, they look like they're twice as stiff. Yeah. Yeah. So that pop is nice, especially, especially if you don't have them or if you have a big wing, this big wing does put yeah. pressure down. Yeah. Um, so that is definitely a huge plus Yeah. for relatively cheap. Yeah, so I mean, not much to that video. Um, we've just been looking at solving this for a while. There was a day recently where I had to close the trunk to let a car go by because we were working on it here. <laughs> the trunk landed on my fingers and like smashed my That's fingers. That's true. Yeah, you um, weren't too happy about that. Yeah, that was about, so, yeah. I literally ordered the springs that day. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'm not dealing with this anymore, yeah. springs. <laughs> so that's great. But um, yeah, let us know what you guys thought. If you're considering them getting them, I would definitely Definitely recommend. Yeah. Easy six. If you're missing your springs, because like I said, this car came without them. So we were bah. missing them. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Plenty, plenty of space. Yeah. So. so let us know what you guys thought of the trunk springs and the video in the comments down below. And if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. And we appreciate you guys.